Hey guys, it's, um, what day is it? I don't know, I'll put it on the screen. Um, it's really windy today. And I've put out some broccoli for the chickens. This has been out for about half an hour and they've destroyed it. What have you done? Huh? He's gone. <laughs> so, the little beauty over there, that is Zelda. She's super timid and lovely. Um, Celine is the black one. She's crazy. <laughs> the bluebell is absolutely lovely. She's the black and grey one, lovely slate colour. And this is Ava. Now where did Fluffy go? Now Fluffy isn't very well. She's actually on the mend now. Um, so she's only out here for a, a couple of hours a day and then she rests inside at night. So it does, she doesn't get too cold. Um, the three hybrids, so Ava, Celine and Bluebell are laying now. And we're getting then two to three eggs a day. Um, should we go and see if we've got any eggs now actually? Have we had any eggs today? Well we've had two already. Are we going to get a third? Hmm? Are we? Excuse me. Oh, it's blustery. No more eggs today. Where's Fluffy? She's coming out. Hey, Bluebell. And there's Fluffy. This cheeky one. Right. Now, let's see if I can. I want to show you something if I can. And I don't know if any of them are going to let me do it. No, you're not, are you? Ava? No? Bluebell? Come here. Are you going to go? There you go. Right. See, when a bird, you go to straight them and they put their wings out a little bit at the sides, submit down, raise the tail up. Like so, <laughs> um, that's like a submissive thing. They either think that you're a rooster, or, um, <laughs> or it means they're coming to maturity and they're about to start laying. Now, Bluebell and Celine did this last week, and then within two days, both of them started laying. And Ava think just does it anyway because she thinks I'm boss. Hello, baby. Hello. You okay? <laughs> so, um, we picked up a free, another free coop the other day. So, Zelda is going to go in that other coop with some other bantams in the spring. And um, then we're going to get some ex battery chickens in here, extend this run, and maybe get an Orpington too. So it's only a short video. Just now they're more settled in, I thought I'd introduce you to the chickens. And now I've got to try and get Fluffy inside so she can have her medication. So see you later. Say bye bye, Bluebell. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Ava's having a bit to eat now. While I do my food, they've got um, layers pellets with some oyster shell in there for protein and calcium and grit in there as well. Um, <laughs> and in the water they have their apple cider vinegar which is extra nutrients for them and is good for their bellies. But the problem I got with the water, I know, is they keep kicking stuff into it. Now, the roof on here is the um, chicken wire and that. So I've got to figure out a way to get this hung up because they're a pain. Aren't you? Pain. I've put in this old ladder for a perch for them and they seem to like climbing all over it. You're having good fun, aren't you? Yeah? Now it's stopped raining. There we go, chickens.
if you're ever thinking about getting chickens, I would highly recommend it. They are amazing little creatures. Amazing. Absolutely adore them. I can't wait to get more. <laughs> I really can't. Yeah, lovely eggs. So you know where they've come from. Yeah, entertaining little funny things. You're funny, aren't you? You're funny. Here you go. Go on then. Can you show me? Can you show me? No. They do. And um, we've had these for just over two weeks now. And these are, I mean, as you can probably tell, they're pretty much, they're pretty tame. Especially Bluebell. And they do run away a little bit, but they're not dashing away scared of me. They do let me stroke them. And they come over to me. Fluffy sits on my shoulder and walks around the house. And Zelda falls asleep on your lap. So, yeah, they are quite tame already. And um, I mean, they are for eggs, obviously, but they are pets as well. They're not chickens that we've just got to to leave and just have as for eggs. They are part of our family. <laughs> oh, so right, I'm going to get Fluffy and give her a medication. She's had a respiratory infection, which is pretty much cleared up now, but I like to keep her in when it gets cold, so... Bye bye ladies. Bye bye. <laughs> right then guys, we are inside now with Fluffy. Um I've got to give her medication, so I thought it might be useful for me to show you a little bit on how to syringe feed a chicken. Now she is very tame, so I won't have to hold her. But um, if you have to do this with a chicken that's a bit more flighty, it's best to tuck them under your arm um, like a football and hold their legs with one arm and then use the syringe with the other. So, little Miss Cheeky Pants, you refuse to play? It's very dark here, isn't it? Is this going to be a good place to film? Or should we move to the gaming sofa? Yeah, let's move to the gaming sofa. Okay, after a bit of flapping, we've made it over to the gaming sofa. So this is Fluffy. She is a purebred um, golden or buff silky. She's got lots of feathers coming in at the moment, so she's got all these like crazy spiky hair do or pin feathers coming in. She looks very cross, don't you? <laughs> um, so, as I said, she's had a respiratory infection. She's over it now, but you need to continue with the um, the antibiotics for the full course. So she's on Thailand, which is um, for <laughs> respiratory infections. It's a good sign that she's preening herself now as well, because she wasn't before. She wouldn't do anything. You're not getting off. No, 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 no. No, we've got medicine. So, as I said, fluffy you don't generally need to hold. But there's some videos on YouTube that show you how to syringe feed a chicken. You want it, don't you? Shrinch feed a chicken by holding them and opening their mouth and squirting it down inside. But chickens don't have a gag reflex and it's very easy for them to aspirate. I know, okay, we'll do it. So what we do, there's two ways, okay. The easy way is just to drip. Come here, drip. Thank you, she's just pooed lovely. Drip it on the end of their beak. And then she will automatically take it off and swallow it. Obviously it's time consuming, there's a little bit at a time. You want some more? Yeah? So, the way we do it with Fluffy is just at the side. <laughs> Come here. She's not going to do it now, just... Fluffy! Fluffy! Oi! Come on! She actually laps it up herself. So we just squidge it at the side of her beak in little amounts. And she drinks it. And that is how easy it is. I'm not holding her, I'm holding the camera with one hand and the syringe with the other. Oh, <laughs> she self-medicates basically, she takes it herself. She's still not drinking much by herself, so using the syringe is a good way of knowing that she's getting those antibiotics into her. But she's not gurgling anymore, she's not sneezing, she's not rasping or anything like that. You're pretty good, aren't you, girl? You are, yeah. So I give her two of those at a time. Sorry, did I take it away? You want some more? <laughs> that one's empty, I'll have to get some more. Yes, I'll get some more. Give her two of those at a time, 
and then I offer some food. Now this is just like layers um, crumb food with some grit and oyster and oyster shell and sometimes she eats it, sometimes she doesn't. But I find if she's going to eat she's more likely to do it after she's had a drink and she's just, she's occupied by something. What can you see? What is it? Hmm? You want some of this? No. Okay, I'll leave it there guys. Um, these are yesterday's and today's eggs. We've only had two for the last two days, but that's okay. Two eggs a day, you can't complain, can you? No. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>